Modern cars use hydraulic braking, which needs brake fluid to function properly. It becomes necessary to flush this fluid over time, so new fluid can be added. If you're not used to doing this routine upkeep, you might wonder, how much brake fluid does a flush require? We've put together a guide on the recommended brake fluid capacity for your car to help you finish the task. We also go over the necessary tools and the importance of brake fluid flushes. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. How much brake fluid do I need for a flush? Depending on how much brake fluid you flush, most passenger cars require 32 ounces or a quart of brake fluid for a thorough cleaning. We advise you to confirm all maintenance procedures and specifications by consulting the service manual. You won't need a full quart if you are just topping off the fluid. Generally speaking, the brake fluid should be changed every 30,000 miles or every two years, whichever comes first. On the other hand, if you use the brakes heavily, you might find that the fluid contaminates more quickly and needs to be flushed more frequently. How to make job done. The majority of inexperienced mechanics can flush their brake fluid at home. Neither advanced knowledge nor specialized equipment are required. These are some tools that you might want to keep handy. Clean rags, floor jack and stands, wheel chocks, and turkey baster. You can flush the fluid once you have your equipment. Try these steps or the process outlined in your factory service manual. Park on a level area and secure the wheels with chocks to prevent rolling. After opening the hood, find the master cylinder. Brake fluid is contained in this component. To prevent a mess, remove the cap and wrap a fresh rag around the outside. You can empty the reservoir of old fluid by using a turkey baster. This procedure typically removes about 80% of the fluid. Refill the reservoir with fresh fluid. Verify that the brake fluid type you have for your car is the appropriate one. Determine the proper order to bleed the calipers. If the brake cylinder is close to the driver's seat, then start at the rear passenger seat side of the car, proceed to the rear driver's side brake, and finish around it. The wheels that are furthest from the reservoir always start the sequence which proceeds around the vehicle in that order. First, jack up the side of the car that needs to be bleeding. Using jack stands, secure it. Take the wheel off and let the caliper bleed. Repeat the steps with every brake. The fluid should never drop below the minimum line, so pay great attention to it. After you're done, make sure the brake fluid reservoir is full and add more if needed. You should test drive the vehicle after the brake system has been fully flushed. To remove any air from the lines, you might need to bleed the brakes once more if they don't feel quite right. Is brake fluid flushing really necessary? Until something goes wrong, most drivers don't give their brake system much thought. There's a chance of an accident if you put off getting the brakes serviced. An estimated 300,000 accidents annually are thought to be caused by brake failure. You wish to avoid turning into one of these figures. Most of the time, drivers forget to service the brake fluid, but remember to service the rotors and pads. Moisture seeps into the system over time, causing rust and fluid contamination. You shouldn't disregard this crucial maintenance step for that reason. The fluid can no longer give the necessary lubrication and protection when it is old and contaminated. You ultimately find yourself less able to stop in time, which puts you and other people in danger. The brake fluid flush is equally as important as a routine oil change. There are lots of auto repair shops that can assist you if you don't want to flush your brake fluid yourself. Establish a routine maintenance program for your car's essential parts, including the brakes. Your car can run even longer with a little preventive maintenance. Can you just change the brake fluid without bleeding? You can top off the fluid without letting the brakes bleed. However, whenever you flush the system or if the air is introduced to it, you should bleed the brakes to be safe. You risk losing essential stopping power if air enters the braking system, which could result in an accident. Flushing of the brake fluid is a common maintenance procedure that the automaker recommends. Many of us are seasoned mechanics who could do this operation on our sleep. Having said that, with the appropriate tools and some time, the do-it-yourself mechanic ought to be able to finish it. The flush must be done, regardless of whether you can do it yourself or need to make an appointment with an auto repair shop. Preserving the brake system is essential if you wish to prevent collisions. If you want the best performance out of your car, don't put off any recommended maintenance. We hope the information was helpful to you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.